of this word you spoke and things were you said and the desire of your heart was fulfilled and by this word tonight I ask you to bring direction I ask you to bring counsel I ask you to bring victory my father over every temptation over every power assigned to bring us down and to divert us from your path in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit I ask you speak to our minds and our hearts today for I ask in Jesus name come on somebody say amen amen can you say a better amen let's put our hands together with a, a joyful heart and knowing that we are celebrating our faith give the Lord a clap offering tonight Amen. You can do better. Lift up your hands again. Right where you are, even if you're joining us on the social media. Give the Lord a clap offering tonight. We give you praise. Glory and honor. Thank you, our Father. We exalt you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We may be seated. Thank you for joining us tonight. It is a, a blessing to have such a time where we gather in the presence of our God. Praise the name of Jesus. And we are not taking this as uh, normal. It is not normal for us to be gathered together. It is God who has caused us to be together tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And tonight, I want us to continue sharing on a backsliding backsliding and i've shared so many things on backsliding i said backsliding is the action of relapsing into bad ways i said nobody says that today i want to go and sin but backsliding is gradual it is a process that is gradual and if you are not careful, you find yourself that you have left the ways of God. Unajikuta kwamba uliachana na mungu. Na nimewaonyesha what the Bible says about backsliding. Bwana asfe sana. Nikasema it is people going back to dirty water. We have said that Jesus is the living water. When you go back to the world, you go back to the dirty water. To Kasema, it is degenerating into an alien vine. God expects us to be better. In fact, the Bible says when he comes, we will be like him. 
when he comes. So Jesus expects you to be better. But when you grow worse, you become an alien vine. A vine that is uh, uh, besides the expectation of our God. Praise the name of Jesus. I said, number three backsliding is becoming a wild camel. Somebody who cannot be controlled. Number four, Nikasema, people backslide, they become an easy prey to unbelievers. Ndiyo watu ambao, wanapebwa kwa uraisi na wenye dhambi. Then I said backsliding is forgetting to work on your beauty. When you don't do what the Lord expects you to do in his house, wakati aufanyi, kazi ya mungu ambao umeku kifanya, wewe umekata kushugulikia ulembo wako, Kwa hivyo, ndiyo maana, Biblia inasema you are a backslider. The number six, backsliding is when you become a prostitute. We have only one husband. His name is Jesus. We are the bride of the Lord Jesus. When you leave Jesus and go back to the world, you have gone to another lover who is not our Lord Jesus Christ. And then we say number seven, Backsliding is going back to your vomit. Tonight, I want us to look at causes of backsliding. What causes of backsliding. Ninini inasababisha watu kurudi nyuma. Number one is shallowness. Shallowness in the word or shallowness of the word. Shallowness in your spiritual life. Praise the name of Jesus. Kuwa mtu asie na mizizi katika maisha ya wokof. Luke, nane, Luke chapter number 8 from verse 11. Luke chapter number 8 from verse 11. The Bible says this is the meaning of the parable. Jesus was talking about the parable of the sower. Then he explains the meaning of the parable. He says the seed is the word of God. Uh, as you sit listening to me tonight, I am planting the word of God as a seed into your heart or into your heart. And the Bible says that seed is the word of God. Those along the path are the ones who hear and then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts so that they may not believe and be saved. Those on the rocky ground are the ones who receive the word with, with joy when they hear it, but they have no root. They believe for a while, but in time of testing, they fall away. The seed that fell among thorns stands for those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries riches and precious and they do not mature but the seed on the good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word retain it and by persevering produce a crop the bible is giving us three or uh, four types of soils that we have in the church Aina nne ya michanga. Muchanga wa kwanza. Praise the name of Jesus. Talks about the seed that fell uh, along the path. Praise the name of Jesus. It was trembled on and the paths ate it up. Biblia tuambia, these are people who hear. And then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts. So the birds of the air are likened to the devil. Shetani anaiba neno. Ambaro limepandwa katika moyo wako. Buwana spue sana. Amen. How do you avoid or how do you stop the enemy from stealing the word? It is by spending time on meditating on what the Lord I said to you, praise the name of Jesus. 
Otherwise, the word of God will not find a place in your heart. The devil will come and steal it. Amen? Then he talks about those on the rocky ground. Amen? Are the ones who receive the word with joy when they hear it. They shout amen. They stand on their chairs. Praise the name of Jesus. But what happens? They believe for a while. But in the time of testing, they fall away. Praise the name of Jesus. Every believer should start developing personal roots in Christ. Why? Because times of trial will come. And only those who are deeply rooted in Christ will stand. Hakuna mukristo ambaye hata pitia wakati wakujaribiwa. Amen. Kama we ni kijana utajaribiwa wakati wakutafuta kazi. Utajaribiwa wakati wakuolewa. Utajaribiwa ukiwa mchanga. Kama auna mizizi. Praise the name of Jesus. Utaangushwa. Uta backslide. Kwa hivyo ni lazima ukuze mizizi yako mwenyewe. Mizizi ya kiroho. Ndio majaribu ya kija uweze kusimama. Praise the name of Jesus. It talks about the seed that fell among the thorns. It stands for those who hear. But as they go on their way, they are choked by life's worries. In this life, there will be things that will come your way. Amen. In this life, we desire to be rich. Amen. We are faced by pressure. Ra. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Kama hauna mizizi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Utabebwa na muskumo wa maisha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Utaambiwa twende dance. Unaenda dance. Tujaribu hii. Unajaribu kwa nini? They are called the worries of life. The things that face us on a daily basis. Things that require decision making as an individual. Vitu ambazo unastairi kufanya uamuzi wakibinafsi. Useme hii sitafanya, hii ra sitaingilia. Lakini kama hauna mizisi ya neno, misukumo ya maisha itakuondoa. Utajiri ukija. Utafuata utajiri uache mungu. Amen. Razi kitokea. Utakimbishana na ra. Praise the name of Jesus. Nimeona wanasiasa. Amba wanawacha kwenda church. Ukipindi cha siasa. Wanaenda kupiga kambeni. Bwana aswe sana. Unamuona juu ya roli. Anafanya kambeni on a Sunday. Hizo ni utajiri raza dunia hii kutamani vyeo Bwana asifiwe sana usipokuwa na mizizi utatafuta pesa kwa njia isiyofaa Bwana asifiwe sana kwa hivyo ni lazima uikuze mizizi yako Bwana asifiwe sana ujijenge mwenyewe kiroho The things we talk about here on a daily basis we talk about leading the word. We talk about prayer. We talk about fellowship. Those are things that will root you in Christ. They are simple practices. Vitu zaraisi. Simple, simple Christian practices that will establish your roots in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. If you are shallow rooted, you are a shallow believer. Other people's mistakes 
praise the name of Jesus, will make you backslide. But when you are rooted in Christ, other people's mistakes will not make you backslide. The sins of other people. Watu amba wana backslide. Wana wacha kanisa. Kwa sababu, ya vire watu wengine wanafanya. Hao ni watu wasio na mizizi. Kama umejenga mizizi, hata mchungaji, hata kuangusha. Oi. Bwana aspe sana. Wengine wakipotoka, utabaki umesimama. Amen. Lakini ukikosa mizizi, makosa ya wengine, yata kuangusha. There are so many people who have left Christ because the people they were looking at, they fell. In the church, it is true we should learn from other people. But we should learn from them as long as they are following Christ. If they don't follow Christ, you stop learning from them. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. I was telling the youth on Sunday, they are preachers I never watch on television. Why? They have lived the ways of God. They are brothers and sisters. You should stop copying. You should stop imitating them. Paul tells the Corinthians, follow me as I follow Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. As long as I'm following Christ, continue following me. And that is why you need to establish yourself in Christ. Amen. To a point that you can pinpoint when the people are falling so that you don't fall with them. Amen. Ukiwa methibitika andani ya Christo. Muntu wakianguka, hauta anguka na eye. Muntu wakiacha mungu, hauta wacha pia. Kwa nini, misisi yako, imeingia, imekorea andani ya Christo. Wewe siyo mkristo, ambaye mbegu ya neno ikipandwa, ni kando ya barabara. Ni mchanga ukona mawe. Ni mchanga umezingirwa na miiba. Apana, wewe ni rutuba. Ikipa, ukipandiwa neno, lina kuzaidia, kuzaa matunda. When you are deeply rooted, you will not be swayed by every wind of doctrine. You will not be swayed. Auta yumbishwa na kira mafundisho. Kuna watu wamefundishwa, wakaacha ndoa zao. Kuna watu wamefundishwa, wakaanza kukura vitu vibaya. Amen. Kuna watu wameajiswa wa ume zao, wakaambiwa ulio wa mume asiefa, kuja ni kupe mume muingine. Wakaacha ndoa zao, wakaenda kuonyeshwa wanaume na wa, na wa, wa ubiri. Ama manabi, wa uongo. Ukiwa na mizizi, auta yumbishwa na mafundisho ya uongo. Ephesians chapter number 4, Biblia inasema, ni kwa nini tunawaubiri, ni kwa nini tunawalimu kanisani. Biblia inasema, from verse 11, Ephesians 4. So Christ himself gave the apostles the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. Why did he give us? To equip his people for the works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature. Attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Verse 14 is very powerful. Then we will no longer be infants. Thrust back and fought by the waves. And prone here and there. By every wind of teaching. And by the cunning and the craftiness of people. In their deceitful scheming. Amen. 
We have believers who are schemers, who are cunning. Praise the name of Jesus. Waumini, wajanja, walio na ukora. Ukiwa na mizizi, hawata kuyumbisha. Somebody say amen. Hawata kuyumbisha. You will question the biblical meaning or reference of what you are being thought or asked to follow. When you are rooted, you will question the biblical basis of what you are asked to follow. Amen. Muntu wa kioga ndani ya maj. Ndani ya drum. Arafu wa seme ni meyatakaza haya maj. Mukikunywa mutapona. Ameingia na muiri wake. Imeandikwa wapi. Ametoa hii wapi. Ay. Praise the name of Jesus. Ndiyo muntu wa nioshe migu. Nipone. Iyo imeandikwa wapi. What is the biblical basis of what I'm being told to do, do or to follow? Gwana sifiwe sana. Deeply rooted believers don't follow the crowd. You follow the Bible. You follow the convictions that you have concerning the word and concerning the things of God. Unafuata usawishi. Sio kila kitu kikipita. Wewe ukondani. Amen. Watu wakiambi wafanya hivi. Wewe ukombere. Watu wakiambi wafata hii barabara. Wewe ukombere. Ujiulizi ni wapi imeandikwa. Ha? Tumeona watu wanaubiri. Wakiponya wakitumia nyoka. Nyoka. Anasema hii nyoka ndiyo inaponya watu. Where is it written that is next will heal people? Na shadow believers will follow that. When it doesn't work, they will hate the church. Wanachukia kanisa. Wanachukia waubiri. Waubiri wote tumewekwa kwa drum moja. Tunaitu wa wakora. Nisikie leo. Not every bleacher. Not every preacher is a liar. Not every preacher is a schemer. Not every preacher is out to con you. We have men of God. We have women of God living in integrity, preaching the Bible. It doesn't matter what a preacher asks. If the basis of their faith is not the Bible, soon if you follow them, they will cause you to backslide. Lazima ukuze mizizi. Sio ndugu tu anakuambia tuende hii. Sio ndugu tu anakuambia tuache church, tuende ile ingine. Unaenda unagonga mwamba pale. Unaanguka. Unasema hakuna kanisa Kenya. Siwanzishe yako. Hakuna kanisa Kenya. Hakuna muhubiri Kenya. It's because you are shallow. You don't know what the Bible says. You have not developed your faith. You don't have a personal devotion or prayer. That is why you are shallow. Utavyekwa. Utambiwa toa nguo zote tukuombe. Nikuombe ni kupake mafuta. Ukiwa mpusi kabisa umejaa. Ujinga wakiro. Unatoa nguo. Muntu wakupake mafuta. Kutakasi. Imeandiko wapi Yesu walitoa watu nguo. Akimutoa meli mapepo, akamambia toa nguo, nikupake mafuta. It's because of shallowness. When you are shallow, you will backslide. I have seen people leave this church. And the next time I meet them, they are backslidden. Why? They were swept by every wind of doctrine. Kama unaniangalia na ulianguka, 
kwa sababu lidanganywa karibu nyumbani rudi nyumbani uponywe rudi nyumbani uokolewe rudi nyumbani usaidike wewe ni mtoto mpotefu wacha kukura chakula ya nguruwe rudi nyumbani amen number two. why do people backslide the last for the world the last for the world kutamani mambo ya dunia kutamani mambo ya dunia second timothy chapter number 4 and verse 10 the bible says second timothy 4 and verse 10 can you read it together on the screen what does the bible say uh huh uh -huh. Why did Demas or Demas go to Thessalonica? He loved Alipenda Dunia. Ndiyo maana ametorokea kule banaitwa Thessalonica. Kuna mwingine ndugu mwingine anaitwa Clisens. Naye ameenda wapi? Galatia. Titus ametorokea wapi? Dalmatia. Kwa nini walipenda dunia? Dunia ina raha zake. There are so many things in the world that will entice you. Amen. When other girls are sharing their stories of their escapades, <laughs> the things they are doing during coronavirus, if you don't take care you will be drawn to what they are doing people fall into sin watu wananguka kwa dhambi kwa sababu ya kupenda dunia kupenda dunia kupenda raha za dunia amen lasting for the things of the world will make you backslide lasting is a strong, excessive desire for something. Lasting is a strong, excessive desire for something. Ni wakati unatamani kitu kwa fucho, kwa nguvu. And that desire, usually it is uncontrollable and obsessive. Amen. Dunia inara. Kule duniani kuna ulevi. Kwa ni watu wangapi wame backslide? Wakarudia pombe. Ni watu wangapi wako church? Lakini wanakunyu wa pombe. Anakunyu wanambia mama jioni. Nikisikia wameambia pasta. Hutaniona. Mama anajua huyo ni mulevi. Anafuta sigara. Hawesi kuongea. Kwa maana anajua akiongea kuna watoto wanne wako nyuma yake. Ambao lazima walishwe na huyu mlevi. Watu wanapenda pombe. Linafanya backslide. Hiyo ni raha ya dunia. Relationships. Ni wasichana wetu wangapi? Wameacha Kristo. Wakaolewa na wenye dhambi. Wangapi? Ama ni vijana wetu wangapi wameanguka wakati wa kuingia katika ndoa? Pale tu kwa mustari wa kuingia kwa ndoa. Wakaangukia pale. Ni wangapi? Iyo ni raya ya dunia. Kuwa na boyfriend, girlfriend, ni raya ya dunia. Kanisani tuna encourage people leading to marriage. To be in a relationship. And we encourage a believer with a believer. Usikuji hapa kuniambia nimepata ndugu. Hata kama nimemukuta na futa bangi. Ninajua nitamuhubiria okoki. Yo ni kupenda dunia. Wasichana wangapi wamengolewa kanisani. Wakawalewa na ndugu pale nje kwa sababu wakona gari. Paka leo wanalia machozi mazito. 
ni kupenda dunia. Ah, wacha niseme mambo vile ilivyo. Lazima tuchukie backsliding. Lazima uchukie backsliding. If you feel you are beautiful, maintain your beauty in Christ. If you want to enjoy pressure, there is pressure in Christ. Hallelujah. We enjoy our walk with Christ. We enjoy our relationship with Christ. Salvation is not boring. It is because you are shadow-rooted. That is why you feel bored in the church. Mwana msemi, amen. Amen. Mimi nilikuwa mlevi. Kama niliwacha kulewa, nikaingia kwa Kristo. Sasa ni miaka 20 na kitu. Tangu niokoke, sijawahi kukunywa pombe tena. Kwani unafikiria sikupata raha? I have the joy of speaking in tongues. I have the joy of listening to gospel music. I don't have to listen to the music of the world. There is a lot of sweet music in Christ. I can dance to the Lord in the church, not in a nightclub. Hey, not in a nightclub. Don't allow the devil to lie to you that the church is boring. The church is the best place to be. Hallelujah. It's because umekata kuchiachiria kwa mungu. You have refused to surrender yourself to Christ. Ukija hapa kanisani, unapiga makofi kiungwana. Ukiwa pale inche. Kukicheswa musiki wa dunia, unachesa karibu ufunjike magoti. Kanisani umesimama kama mulingoti? Uwezi kumusifu mungu? He? Umetinyi mara andani ya kristo. Unatawa kuitafuta duniani. Ra hikondani ya kristo. Amen. I enjoy being born again. I'm not bored. How many of you are bored to be born again? You are bored. You don't feel you could be here. How many? How many of you are enjoying salvation? You are enjoying it. You feel you are. Hakuna kitu menyimua. Unajifraisha andani ya kristo. Amen. Ukikata kukitaka kunyua kitu. Kunyua pombe. Unakunyua soda. Unakunyua chai. Tukitoka hapa nikifika homo. Nasema nipikie chai. Sio nipe taska. Na kunyo achai na kuwa soba. Ninaona news. Sio kukunyo kitu inaniaribu macho. Ninaanza kuona watu watatu. Habana? Ninara andani ya yesu. Sitafuti raa duniani. Come on, do I have supporters in this church? Sitafuti raa duniani. Niko nara andani ya yesu. Miaka ishirini na kitu. Nimeka andani ya kristo Sijuti Nasema sijuti Hakuna kitu nimemiss Nimepata kila kitu Kule duniani nilikuwa naenda na dance kwa night club Ninapigwa marungu Ninakimbishwa na wapolisi Leo ninadansi ndani ya yesu Ninarudi nyumbani rongi zangu zikiwa safi Hasichafuriwi na kitu Kaa andani ya Yesu. Wachana raza dunia. Somebody support me by saying amen. First John chapter number 2. Verses 15. First John chapter number 2. Verses 15 and 16. What does the Bible say? Do not love the world. Or anything in the world. Usipende dunia. Ama chochote kilicho ndani ya dunia. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. What is the Bible saying that is in the world? The lust of the flesh. Never ever tell me that you can't remain pure as a young boy or as a young girl until the day you get married. You can get married a pure girl, a pure boy. You 
ni tupige mare like your grandmother alitaimiwa kwa kawa akachukuliwa hausaidi hivyo unasaidi kuolewa mchana unakuja chachi saa nne asubuhi ukitoka kwa ile mrango tunajua wewe ni mume wa mtu wewe ni mke wa mtu usije ukasukumwa na mwili anasema another thing is the last of the eyes what do you watch hey what do you watch ukiwa umechifunika prangeti saa 8 asubuhi nini una watch kwa hiyo simu nini unataka kuona kikufurahishe the pride of life usingiwe na kiburi kwa kile unapata hapana all things that we get are in christ i tell my children every day whatever you see i have whatever you have the clothes you put on the food you eat the schools you go all these things we have achieved them in christ there is nothing we have which god has not given us we can't be proud of an achievement it is god who has given us hey, hey, hey. anything you lust for can be the cause of your downfall never lust for money the love of money is the root of all evil don't lust for money let god bless you at his time and in his own way let me hear an amen i say don't quit salvation to go and sell your body don't quit salvation to join evil company to get into illuminati devil worship to get money and listen to me devil worshipers are advertising themselves on their social media just like people advertise their businesses they are advertising their patterns you will switch or touch and you will join illuminati you will join devil worship in a minute don't be attracted by the passing crowd of riches the lord will bless you with the true riches he will bless you with the blessings that will make you rich adding no sorrow he will give you money that when you sleep and your dog is barking you will continue sleeping Utajiuliza nimekutwa eh nimepatwa kwa sababu unaralia kitanda cha wizi usipende pesa amen mpende Mungu atakupa pesa za kweli ah wale mnanitazama Mungu atawabariki usitishwe na watu ambao wamechukua shortcut follow the long cut follow the root of christ amen the bible says in the fullness of time he will make everything beautiful usipende pesa mpende mungu wakati ukifika atakupa pesa amen ndio maana kuna vitu usifanye sio sio lazima kama ninataka unipe sadaka sio lazima nikudanganye nitakwambia nataka kununua microphone ah hata kuna wakati nimekuja hapa nikasema sasa nataka mnunulie simu ai sasa nataka mnunulie kitu fulani kwa nini kama ninataka munipe pesa kwa nini nitumie ujanja silikuja niwaambie viatu zangu naona zimezeeka na start kuaibisha si mtanipa sadaka ama mnataka nitumie ujanja hiyo <laughs> ni kupenda pesa amen 
Usipende pesa. Usipende wanawake ama wanaume. Utajikuta umeolewa na mama wa miaka 80 na wewe uko miaka 25. Usipende cheo. At lazima ukue ni power. There are people who have gone to consult witches in different countries because they want to be MCS, they want to be members of parliament, they want to be this. When then they go to consult the witches. The Bible says clearly it is God who lifts one and brings another down. Huh? God will lift you into the position he wants you to occupy. You don't have to quit Christ to get into a position of power. If you have to love something strongly, love Christ. Not money. Not women or men. Not positions of power. Kill every desire before it kills you. If you discover you lust for men, you lust for women, pray over that lust. Usipo shurikia itakuangusha. Usipo shurikia you will backslide. Kill any desire that is anti-Christ. If there is a desire to make a man, no matter what, no matter how, kill that desire. Oh. You know, the fact that you have money does not mean that every money is clean. It matters the source. Because when people kill others to get money, they still have money. It is the same Kenyan currency. But the source matters. Don't have a strong desire for things that will make you backslide. Amen. Amen. Ah, you know we were given one and a half hours. So I can give you one more. Isn't it? I'm a mechoka. Sinfulness. Causes of backsliding. Number three. Sinfulness. Proverbs 1 verse 10. The Bible says, Proverbs 1, verse 10. My son, if sinful men entice you, do not give in to them. When you thumb your wish, many people who backslide, many times, they have been living in hidden sin. Wamekua wakishi katika dhambi ilio fichika. Ukiona mtu wamekua na ujasiri, mbaka anamuacha mungu sasa anafanya vitu wa darani. Ni kwa sababu alikuwa anafanya kwa siri. Sasa ni vile ime manifest. Sinfulness. The Bible says, if you hide your sins, you will not <clears throat> prosper. Kama kuna dhambi ikondani yako. Kama kuna dhambi inakusumbua. Ikonfront. Tubu mbele za mungu. Kwa maana, usipo ishugulikia, itakoma. Na ikikoma, itaza backsliding. Amen. Kuna maubiri ni kiubiri ni kikemea kitu inakuma. Hapo ndi udhaifu wako hiko. <laughs> Amen. If I talk about something and it hurts you. We rebuke a certain sin and you feel no. Pastor should not have gone that direction. That is where your weakness is. Deal with that sin. Anything trying to grow within you. That is not godly. Deal with it. To overcome this temptation of hidden sin, you need to confront your sin and repent. Confront it and repent. Another way of dealing with any sinfulness in you is to join a group or fellowship and have accountability partners. 
watu ambao wanaweza kuambia eh hey, wapendwa tafadhali vile unaniona hivi kuna kitu inanisumbua ah kuna kitu inanisumbua nitawezaje kutoka kwa hii kitu even as a pastor i have my close friends cross when something is pushing me i'll share with them that this is where i'm struggling this is the battle i'm facing and then we'll share you know if you tell people hey, this is where I, I am failing amen they will monitor you in that area kuna kitu ninawaambia they will monitor you in that area they will help you overcome it that is why as a young boy or a young girl you can't afford to miss the fellowship of the youth and i usually say it publicly if you don't want to join a fellowship there is something you are hiding if you don't want if you are a lady and you cannot be found in the ladies fellowship <laughs> there is something you are hiding if you are a man and you cannot fellowship with other men who are born again kuna kitu unaficha praise the name of jesus don't hide your sin it will explode and shame you it will explode and make you backslide are we together publicly denounce the sin the bible says in proverbs 27 verse 17 proverbs 27 verse 17 the bible says as iron sharpens iron so one person sharpens another you need to have friends in the church you need to have brothers and sisters in the church who will confront you confront you and ask you why are you not coming to church but if your friends are people encourage why you didn't come even the church was boring in fact you better remain at home Pastor Lily troubled us on Sunday. He continued saying, say amen, do this. In fact, you are better than us. If those are your friends, can I say it? You are doomed. Utakwisha. Get accountability partners. Amen. We have so many pastors in our church, but there are few pastors who are very close to me. Amen. My wife knows them. My children know them. Amen. Close. People we can share. People we can take tea together. People we can visit one another. These are people who can easily notice that I'm going astray. Somebody say amen. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare backsliding is not our portion. I command every cause of backsliding to be destroyed. We shall not be shadow. Lord, give us the heart and the zeal to seek you and to be in you, to pay the price. For the Bible admonishes us to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. I speak to every last, the last of the world that is creeping into our hearts. I command you to be silenced by the authority in the name of Jesus. I declare this night, every last for the things that are not of God is not our portion. Give us the love of Christ. Let it consume and do and uh, engulf our hearts that we may abide in Christ forever. Every sin trying to take control of our lives, I declare us no power. I release the courage to denounce it. The courage to repent. The courage to denounce it in the name of Jesus. I give you praise because we shall remain standing until the trumpet sounds. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I appreciate Jesus with a clap offering. Are you watching me this evening? 
And you have been, you used to follow Christ, but you have forsaken Christ. You left God for the world. I ask you to come back. Come back to Christ. Give him your life. Are you there and you are not born again? You have not started the journey with God. Give your life to Jesus. Let me pray with you. You are backslidden or you have not started following Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. Make this prayer with me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Today, I receive you as Lord and Savior of my life. I come back to you and I ask you, take charge of my life from now until the trumpet sounds in Jesus' name. Amen. Talk to us if you made that prayer. Help us know that you have given your life to Jesus so that we can stand with you in prayer. We can also speak to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Join us where you are. Give your tithe. Give your sacrifice. Our baby number is on your screen. 340-754. Account number is your name. Bay bill is 340-754. Account number, your name. Till we see you again on Friday. The Lord bless you. Thank you so much. May the Lord sustain you in Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's appreciate our team on the social media as we say bye in Jesus' name. I want to hear you.